everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Grant. We're with the Winkle, and today we are making a catapult. catapult. Mom, I think this is gonna be one of my favorite projects. Oh really, why is that? Cause the catapults are super cool. Yeah, they're awesome. And we're not just doing any catapult today, we are doing a pumpkin chunkin' catapult today. <laughs> it's October and it's pumpkin season and you know how much I love pumpkins, yes. right? Pumpkin cookies, pumpkin pancakes, candy pumpkins. Ooh, mm -hmm. yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a candy pumpkin, do not eat it. And this project today is based on an actual pumpkin chunkin' catapult contest that they have every year and guess how far the farthest pumpkin went last year? It went almost a mile. Wait, a big catapult? Yeah, big catapult with a big pumpkin. They projected at almost a mile. Can you imagine that? You wouldn't no. be able to see it. You'd be like, where'd it go? Should we see what's in our kit today? Yeah. All right. Two ginormous popsicle sticks, seven large popsicle sticks, four rubber bands, one Dixie cup, two glue dots, and last but not least, Mr. Pumpkin. This looks like so much fun. On top of everything in your kit, you'll just need a pair of scissors and then we're ready to get started. Grant and I are gonna start making this catapult, but I just wanted to let everybody at home know if we get go too far ahead of you, you can always pause the video and then press play when you're caught up. Also, if you don't understand some instructions, you can always rewind the video and press play again. Ready, Grant? Yeah. Okay. Okay, first we're going to make the fulcrum of the catapult. So that's gonna be with your large popsicle sticks. You're the engineer here, so you're going to be building this fulcrum as part of your catapult, and you can decide if you're going to put five, six, seven of these sticks, and what's gonna make your catapult go farther. Okay, stack your popsicle sticks up on top of each other. I am going to use six. How many are you gonna use? Seven. Okay, Grant's using seven. Now you're going to tie a rubber band around the end of your popsicle stick. And if you're new at tying rubber bands, I'll show you how to do it. You're going to loop it around the, the edge, okay? Not where it gets round, but just right before it turns round, okay? So that's all I have so far. I'm going to just put a twist in my rubber band and then go around the popsicle sticks. I'm gonna twist it again, go around the popsicle sticks. I'll do it this way, twist, Go around, twist, go around, and you're gonna keep doing that until it's tight. So how many times did I go around? Let's see. I one, went two, one, two, three, four, five. I did five also. Yeah, so five is probably good, but it's also gonna depend on how many sticks you stacked up. So I'm gonna do the other side, which Grant's already done. So what is a catapult? A catapult is an ancient weapon or ballistic device used mainly to launch stones, spears, and projectiles to a greater distance without the help of explosives. It was used in ancient times and proven to be one of the most effective mechanisms in military during war. I think that's probably why you like it so much because it's about like military and weapons and stuff like that. Right now we're going to make the arm or the lever of the catapult. So this will be kind of the design. So we just need to tie the rubber bands on one side of these gigantic popsicle sticks. Again, you're gonna take it out, twist it, wrap it around, twist it, wrap it around, twist it until it's nice and tight. This would be a gigantic popsicle. That is something <laughs> I wanna eat. So this is gonna be our lever, and this right here, the stack, is our fulcrum. So you're gonna put the fulcrum into the arm or the lever, right like that, and see how much tension that's creating? That's creating a lot of energy right there. See this energy that this stick is resisting this right here? Okay, now we're gonna tie this into place with your last rubber band. So we're gonna tie this rubber band around this fulcrum and lever. And this is probably the trickiest, oh, it's definitely the trickiest part of this whole thing. So you're gonna start by putting the rubber band around your fulcrum on one side and twist it, okay? Now we're gonna put it around the, the head of the catapult, good, give it another twist. Now put it around the other side of the fulcrum. Now see how that's good, but the rubber band is still kind of loose. We want it to be a little tighter. So we're gonna take this one that's on the head, this rubber band right here, twist it one more time, and wrap it around. Catapult physics is all about stored energy to get that projectile to go far. Catapults store energy until you hit the trigger. So see all this energy built up in here? You can just sense it like that's tight right there. The more you make this fulcrum go forward, the more energy you can feel that's stored within this stick right here. Uh, the pull you feel from the rubber band is called potential energy because it's energy that is about to just 
go. All right, so we have our catapult design. Now we're gonna create our bucket. Our bucket is what stores our projectile. So our cup right here, we're gonna cut it down because our pumpkin won't be able to get out of this cup at this size. So we're just gonna cut it down. See, I cut it this way. I'm leaving about, you want about a half an inch to three quarter inch tall bucket. And then that is just enough that it's gonna be able to store a pumpkin for us. Okay, how are we going to attach this? The bucket? That's a great question. We have the glue dots for that. And we have two glue dots and we should put them both on our, on our bucket so that our bucket doesn't fall off. We you have your glue dots, you take off that paper on the back and you press the glue dots to the bottom of the cup, just like that. And then you're gonna peel them up very slowly. Sometimes I use my thumb to make sure they don't get peeled up with the plastic. And just like that, and don't touch the glue dots because any oil or residue from your finger will make them less sticky. You're going to place them on the back of your catapult, but make sure to give yourself enough finger space back here so that you can launch your projectile. Okay, Grant, so let's review our catapults. We have our fulcrum, our lever. It's storing potential energy, all kinds of energy built up in there. We have our bucket, and the pumpkin is our... Chunkin. <laughs> the pumpkin's our projectile, and we are pumpkin chunkin today. Now remember, you're the engineers for this project, so if you want to adjust your catapult any way that you want, you can totally do that. If you want to add more rubber bands, more popsicle sticks, even if you want to change out the projectile, what do you think would go farther? Something light or something heavy? I want you to experiment with this and figure it out for yourself. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Thanks for joining me today, Grant. You're an awesome helper. And if you have a grown up, take a picture or video of you with your catapult, post it on social media. Tag us at the Winkle Crate so we can see what you made and how it turned out. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Done?